coming into the college program gives you hope, right? It's hope, it's hope. It's gonna be a better place. People are um, just trying to live just a more fruitful life. Marymount Manhattan College has a uh, sister school in the Bedford Hills Correctional Facility, and we've been partners with them for 20 years. 20 years. 20 years ago, when it looked like Pell Grants were being removed, the students were actually a big component over at Bedford at lobbying and fighting to have the right to have education. This year, the students there have a class. Erin, you worked with them to make uh, storyboards. Then they also wrote poems in a poetry class inspired by those storyboards. Uh, the vernacular use of space, how the way we use space um, tells a story, a political story. Politics. The struggle for the allocation the of The allocation resources. of resources right. by different constituents. The whole point is you get your ideas from the world. It puts a framework on how to discuss things that are experientially lived. And you can't be an artist just in a silo not experiencing other points of view. Also make it accessible to people that think, it's, that think academics are too hard. The way you could think of it is like art. It's political, it takes up space in a special way. So now anybody can do art and it's the same idea, but it's accessible. One thing that we don't always think about when we're looking at videos is that the way that you frame your shots can actually carry a lot of information about your story. So you will always want to think of your story as pictures. So you're just using these pictures to sort of like create this building block to tell your larger story. This is what I can't picture because the drama would be that he spent money so she can cheer with him when she is interested in it. Okay, that's the preening gesture we talked about. She's presenting herself as a dream. She thinks that's what he's going to like. Well, Wait, so tell me about your process. So you guys started and said, okay, let's just go try. So we said 10 lines. We said, you write five, I'll write five, and then we'll try and mesh them. Cool. All of that material is then shared back to us. The film group is going to make short films based on those storyboards. The playwrights will take that material and use that as inspiration to write monologues. There's some visual artists and also dancers involved as well who are going to use the material to create pieces as well. Part of the thing I'm going to do with you in this workshop is we're not going to talk a whole lot. So we're going to put the ideas in your body. Breathe. How do we do in filling up the space? I still see some big empty gaps in space. Start splitting. Yeah. What did that feel like? What was the emotion? Like I was floating, but like I felt like I was like there was no gravity or something. You always look very free. So just think about that, right? Because we're thinking about it in our bodies. So we're doing a little talking about it, but we're really thinking about it and getting it into our bodies. I really, what I want you to do is be able to free your body because we're stuck in our bodies all the time. And even the stories that you gather, that you take from the women at Bedford Hills, is still a collective whole. They're, they're a part of the community, even though they're not in the room with us, right? And we put pressure on ourselves to be perfect when we know we don't have to. When we can just have the excitement of doing it, of being in the moment, and we can also really focus and be in that moment like we're supposed to. Make sense? I would tell them, just come down to the college. Have you ever considered college? You know, not me, I'm not smart enough. Or I'm not, you know, it's the first thing, you know, you're already beating yourself down. I think you're not good enough. Or just life circumstances um, has shaped you to not even enter into the world of education. And taking baby steps with them, they realize how amazing they are and how brilliant they are. And it made them shape their mind frame to say, I can do this and I can achieve this. And education is a key component because you are gonna come home one day and this gives you a, a leveled playing field. Education plays a major role while you're incarcerated. And it also gives you hopes, dreams, possibilities that you never thought about. You're coming in with professors, so now you're like, I have contact with civilians that really care about me as a human being and what I think, and it's my intellect, not what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. We're in a learning environment, and we're learning from each other.